Hey everyone, Bill here with some TV Photoc tips, and I hope I have a fun one for you today. Today I have some tips on shooting mug shots and other police photos. When I was trying to figure out how broad I want to be on this tip, I decided I want to focus just on police photos because of the tip. I could go on a whole other video about uh, shooting still photos with video uh, at a later date. But with that, one thing I've always been taught about photography and videography are they're very similar in the fact that they're two dimensional mediums. And one of the fun things we get to do as videographers or photographers is try to create a sense of depth with that. And so that's one of the things I'm gonna do here. With that being said, how often do we see in things like this in our videos, where it's just a still photo against a pre-made graphics background, whether we built it or some art director someplace built it, perhaps we work at a TV station, this is something we see all the time uh, in news. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely guilty of going with this. A lot of times it's just fast, it's easy, whatever the case is. To me, this is kind of dull. It's it's flat, it's stale, and it brings our video to a halt. It just slows it down. Whenever uh, I see graphics like this or the graphics come up like this, I try to think of some way I could break that mold and shoot something more three-dimensional. We could do so much better, and that's part of what my tips are all about. So uh, let's try something different. So this is kind of my setup here. Uh, it's gonna be very easy, very simple, and it doesn't take long to set up at all. Uh, to start, I got my black cloth here. I'm gonna use this as a backdrop. And I got my camera set up. It's gonna be kind of about the height of uh, the um, main spot here where I'm going to put my photo. So there's kind of two setups for this, but there's very little difference in the way how we do it. Uh, are we gonna use a still photo or are we gonna use our cell phone to shoot the photo off of? Uh, I'll show you with the still photo first, and then we'll just adapt and show how to do it if you're gonna use your cell phone instead. All right, here's my backdrop and my photo. One thing I could easily do is I could just take the photo and pose it, lean it up against the backdrop like that. I'm not gonna do that for this. Instead, I'm gonna have a little something here that I can prop up the photo. I'm gonna put that farther away from the backdrop, so I'm gonna have a couple inches of depth here. Now here's my setup. Uh, because I'm gonna use a still photo, I have this little portable light here, little LED light on a tripod. I'm gonna set that up there. I'm gonna use that so that I can light my photo. Now here's where my setup's gonna differ if I'm gonna use a still photo or if I'm gonna use my cell phone. If I'm gonna use my cell phone, I don't need to set up that extra light because the screen is going to illuminate my photo. However, if I'm going to use a still photo, I definitely wanna set up a light. Right now, I know you're probably thinking nothing really earth shattering with this so far. Uh, this is just a basic setup for, uh, for photos. Um, now, here comes the fun part. I have this flashlight. Uh, I'm gonna say off the top, I have not endorsed or they did not pay me to say anything about this. I suppose I should say that just to be safe. But this is called a night stick. And the model number is NSP1170. Um, and this was recommended to me. This is a very powerful spotlight flashlight, which I can use if you see my other video about uh, shooting documents. I can use this uh, light for uh, um, getting those um, specific shots of words, but also it has this light feature on it. And this kind of gives me a, uh, there's two sets of lights here, there's a red and a blue set. And so the same thing if we're gonna shoot the documents, uh, I could, either together these kind of come a, a purplish type of color or I can put tape or block the one side so it's a blue or red light. So that's a quick thing I can use for that. But also in this night stick, it has this thing, if I push the button again, it gives me flashing lights like police lights. So that's where this is going to come into play when it comes to using this setup for mug shots. Before I start shooting here, here's the setup now. I have my flashing light or my back light is gonna be there and like standard lighting it's behind the subject here because i don't want this light to be on that photo one of the reasons why i don't like having my photo just rest in the back here is because maybe i don't want to have my light flashing on the photo itself i want the photo to be clean and be separate from the backdrop 
to create that look of depth. So the setup here is how my shot looks on my main camera of the mug photo, which actually this is a photo of me. This is not an actual mug photo. Um, there's a story behind it, but I'm not going to get into it. It was a joke. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to kill my overhead lights in the room so I can control my lighting situation. Not going to notice much of a difference there when it comes to this, but here's my backlight. And so that adds some depth to it. And now I'm going to turn on my second light, which will be the flashing effect. And there's my mug photo effect that I was telling you about. I'm also going to use this opportunity to do my pans and tilts. There, now isn't that something that's unique and different? Uh, a lot more fun than having those uh, flat graphics on that traditional background that you might have on your videos or stories. Something to help uh, create some depth and uh, new options for you. And there's plenty of other options that we can do from this setup. But this again is just something to focus on muck shots or police uh, emergency type photos. You can use this for fire department, ambulance, police, uh, whatever type of emergency vehicle type situation or the effect that you want to, to go with. Uh, but I want to thank you for joining me. I'm Bill. Uh, you've been watching TV Photox Ships. Do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe so I know you're out there. Please leave a comment below or you can send me a message on Twitter. But until next time, good luck and have fun. Two dimensional mediums. And one of the fun, oh, not just videography, but also pho photography. But, uh, Oh, oh, oh. This is my basic setup here, uh, or at least prepping for it. Hi, Archie. Hi, buddy. Uh, I want to add a little bit of depth. So I'm going to take, where the hell is it? We're about is making things unique. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Okay. I, I need to do this. I need to shoot 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 this. I need to get down. <laughs>